Hello everybody, this is Manu S and welcome to another Eternal Draft. Been a while since the l last draft video, but new set, new opportunities, so I figured it's time to do a draft again for you guys, um, especially for the people that are looking for some more and more recent draft footage. There you'll have it. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so in here. And there's our first pack. Okay. So, Dream Snatcher, pretty nice 2-drop, but not super good. It's just solid, like a 2-3 with lifesteal is nice. The ultimate is not that relevant. The buff is not coming up a lot, so it's just a solid card, not like a bomb or first pick quality card. Um, I think the best card in the pack probably is either Time Worn Sentinel or Yeti Windflyer. If you can get enough Yetis, um, Windflyer is really great, a 2 cost 2-2 two, two flyer I think is definitely more appealing than Dream Snatcher overall, especially with a double shadow, it's not that easy to reliably play that on 2. So, and yeah, um, Time One Sentinel is just really really strong, I think it's similarly good as the 3-5 Endurance Warp Sentinel from uh, uh, Omens of the Past. We get plus 1 health and we get a guaranteed 2-for-1 uh, out of it. If we have an explorer, which is arguably easier to meet than having the card on top of our deck in just the right turn where we can actually play it. So um, this might even be slightly better. The fact that it costs 6 in the end might make it uh, similarly good or slightly worse because it's just a little bit slower and clunkier and getting plus 1 health for 1 power is not that good. So it's probably slightly worse than the warp sentinel but not by a lot. So I think I will actually just take the Sentinel because time is always a very reliable and strong faction and draft in my experience and my last 7 win draft, my last draft which was also 7 win draft in this format was Praxis and the Sentinel seemed pretty good so nothing wrong with that and I honestly don't know how good for example like Skycrack Yeti type approach is so um, it's a bit more of a speculative thing at this point for me. I'll take the time one sentinel. Okay, so here we have some options, but all are not super great. Like we have Stone Scar Sword Off, which is something that definitely would have gone better in like the Skycrack type deck. Not particularly appealing in Praxis usually. Moondial is like very slow, and Nightfall at first most likely provides the opponent with an advantage because if we are a slow deck they usually benefit more from Nightfall. Um, so yeah, what else do we have? Main Watchwing is like so-so and also very much an Argent board card because without the Valkyrie ally the card is really bad. Um, Daddy Marshall due to the Gunslinger not a very good Combray card so mostly a Rakano card or in some cases playable in Argentport, I guess. Um, yeah, this pack is really awkward for us. I could see considering taking Barbarian Camp, even though it's not great, but it's uh, Relic Synergies and so on. But I mean, we don't have to lock ourselves into something yet, so I maybe just take Tandem Watering, because it's a pretty good 3-drop if you are, end up in Argentport, for example, and still okay outside of Argentport as a 2-1 flyer. So um, I think I might just take Tandem Watchwing here. It seems like the best card to me outside of like Stone Scar Sword of in a very dedicated aggro deck. Like in the right aggro deck I can see Sword of or Marshall being better, but this is the more like uh, card that will on average be useful or good. Okay, so here we have Entrapment, which is a decent removal, at least in a non not so aggressive deck. Here we have a decent Shadow removal, killing a lot of things. Nightfall, probably a bit more of a downside than an upside, really. I think I might be inclined to take Entrapment, because it's cheaper and deals with bigger stuff, even though it's defensive. And it's also definitely in a color we have a card in yet, while Extinguish just kind of pushes us in another color, potentially. Um, fishing Dino 
is pretty good in the right time deck, I guess, because the six six four five is really strong. We had we have the five cost six five dinosaur, which trades with a lot more. So having the one extra health um, pushes that way over the Terrazon, or what the name was. All right, so um, yeah, I think I'll just take entrapment here for now. Okay. Here we have Excavator, which is probably the best card in the pack. In a Yeti deck, this can be pretty nice. This is decent in the Sentinel deck and so on. But yeah, the cards are all a bit so-so. So I think I'll just take the Excavator for now. Okay, here we have another Valkyrie. That is a bit underwhelming. This is just a really bad card. But yeah, not a ton of options. I think I'll just take the... Valkyrie, even though it's not the most reliable attacker, but it's also Valkyrie ally for the Tandem Watchwing. Right now it looks a bit like we're going down a Combray route, which I'm not super happy about, but we'll see. We can still like abandon time, for example, depending on what we see. I think I'll take the, the Watchwing over, say, Shortbearer or Creeper, simply because we already have one, so having more is good, and uh, potential three attack flyers are pretty nice. Okay, here I think it's a pretty easy shield the trot bell, especially with the 3-drop flyers. So, let's take that. And here, like we could take that, that's like okay with the flyers and stuff, but it's not great. We don't have much to support this. So I think I'll just take the Potter. Potter is a pretty good 2-drop actually. A great 2 for 1, trades with a lot of other 2-drops, 3-drops and gets us a card back. This is a pretty empty pack, all in all. Like, this junction doesn't really do much for us. Like, we have one weapon, we might even get a few more, but it's still not really good enough to play that. Like, you need some powerful stuff to return in multiples, I think, like relic weapons and stuff. This is clearly nothing that's gonna do anything for us. So I guess we could take the Wild Rider, just in case we are forced to go into Horu. We'll take that. But it's not likely that it's gonna do anything for us. Anyhow, I guess I'll take another Wild Rider for the same reason. And hmm. since I kind of doubt we're gonna play this many Wild Riders, I'll just take the Waystone in case we stay in time. Okay, this is useless, but it's a legendary, so I might take it just for like the dust and also because I accidentally dusted the only one I had, just in case I want to mess around with it at some point. Also there's not a whole lot of relevance for us really. Like Island's Choice if we go towards the Horror Route or Horror Stranger or as a Splash, but it's not that great. So we're not even giving up a whole lot for the dust here, so I'll just take the Mind Link. Okay, now we are getting pushed more into Horu because Sheltering Rider is really good. And I mean we also have Awakened Sentinel, which is really good, which would help our green excavator and block pretty well on the ground. And it's just an overall really powerful card. But I think Sheltering Rider just has a bit more use for us, probably. Hmm. Ah. I think I'll take the Sheltering Rider for now and see where we end up. Okay. Yeah, I think I take High Branch Sentry over Dragon Breath, simply because it's a Justice card, which we are definitely going to play. Or actually, we might just want to go back to time again with the Goliath, because Goliath is just so good, I just missed that. Yeah, I think I'll just take the Goliath here. God is just way too good not to take. Now I kind of wish I had taken the Sentinel last pick, but oh well. And yeah, here we just have like Valkyrie Militant, which is another Valkyrie for Valkyrie ally, which is nice. And Time Weaver is only like, okay. So yeah, let's take that. Now we have like a bunch of cards that don't really do anything for us. I guess I could take like Longshot Marksman. So we're still not fully locked into our second color. 
there is a small chance that it's still gonna change towards um, Argentport. Um, Valkyrie, I mean, we don't have that many 4 drops yet, especially for like Combre, although Copper Hall Herald is also pretty nice. We like 2 drops. But I think the Valkyrie ally for the Tandem Watchwing is probably a bit more important. Okay, we're getting a lot of these now. Well, since there's not really anything we need, let's just take it and lock up our Valkyries in it. Nothing here for us, so... Oh nice, that's a late rare. That's actually pretty good for like... a potential Argentport approach. Like, I think Oru is like kind of out. But this is pretty good. But I mean, we are just more likely to be Combre, I think, at this point. And I don't mind the dust with so many cards for set 3 missing for me. But yeah, I, if you just wanna like try hard there, you would take the, the Valkyrie. Bunch of random late picks. And another decent Valkyrie. And not a whole lot else. So yeah, we just take the Avenger. And... Shit of the Sands, probably over Longsword, especially with our weak early game. So yeah. And there uh, we... I guess Crown Watch is still decent. It's not great, but it's decent and the pack's pretty weak. Another Valkyrie. Pretty decent one, actually. Although our deck is so flyer heavy that it doesn't do a whole lot for us here. We have enough for like ally nonsense. So I'm inclined to just maybe take Aspirant, as weird as that seems, because it's good for our water rings and stuff. The other cards are highly so so. I guess we take that, because it's a more unique card. We probably could get something like this late. Let's take it, even though it's not that likely to make it in the deck. It's not doing a whole lot for us. I mean, it's an explorer for Sentinel, but Goliath is like the only thing that gets reduced by it. So we take the Temple Scribe or the Shield. Shield is actually like kind of decent, like on Crown Watch, for example. Or on one of the flyers to lock up the air and so on. This is not bad, but we don't have that steep color requirements. I think I'll take the shield for now. And pretty sure the daggers over familiar here. Daggers are pretty nice with all the flyers. Finest hour is very welcome addition. More daggers is actually pretty sweet in this deck, I think. Lots of daggers actually, a bit more daggers than I want probably at this point, but we'll see. Okay, so last light infusion, still not the biggest fan. This is probably the best pick for us over like sand spitter. I don't have four of these yet, but I think this is a great addition to our deck, so I'll just take this. And I think I like Spirit Blade Stalker a bit better than Soaring Guard. It doesn't do a whole lot. I mean, the armor is nice for Bodyguard and like Synergy for Watch Wings, but we have enough Watch Wing in it. So I'll just take the Stalker. It's a solid blocker, and the ultimate is actually pretty nice. There we go. So Arcani Arcanist. Or another port that's actually kind of a tough pick, I think, because we don't have a lot of five drops. This is a pretty good one as far as comments go. And but yeah, I mean, we lack two drops, and Porter is just so good as a two drop, I think, in draft. Often gonna be a hard two for one. So yeah, I'll think I'll take the Porter over the Arcanist, but it's close. Okay, so here we have Silverwing Rallyer. 
have a bunch of Valkyries to like bond him out. But he is pretty so so. But this is another option. We lack some removal type stuff, but we have a bunch of weapons. Oh. That is gonna be mostly mono justice actually. Hmm. I think this is probably good enough to play. I mean, it's a big flyer with some decent upside. Okay, another sentinel. We are so short in explorers that we probably can't play those. Don't think I want soaring guard, but ironclad owes actually is decent. It's a bit clunky and all, but should do enough for what we are looking for. Lost in the mist is decent support. Good removal. Have four of both. Not gonna play either. Take whatever. Both. Deck is kind of interesting. Mostly a mono justice deck. Quite interesting. Okay, so. Here's the deal. This is not very good. We have very few sentinels, and these sentinels have only like what one explorer? I think. Huh. It definitely higher in this than I thought. I mean, I might actually like more daggers and like more safe return. Because I mean, what is safe return really gonna do for us in this deck? Let's play the daggers. I don't think we have enough armor to play Valkyrie bodyguard. Like, in fact, I only have the ironclad oath. Probably want to cut one of these at the other militant, just because it's a flyer and a Valkyrie. Play a weapon. Ah, oh, when you play a weapon, so yeah, they are also actually pretty good at enabling this, especially with the daggers. So yeah, the bodyguard is actually pretty decent in the deck with the amount of weapons that we have. Deck is basically like all weapons and tricks and units, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting draft. Deck could do some work. Excavator is a bit underwhelming and the Sentinel, but it should be okay. All right, that's the deck. Let's try this. I like it the way it is right now. Gonna be just all Air Force basically. Okay. Um. As usual, gonna show you all the games after. Um, I'm gonna adopt the new format from my deck text as well, so one game per video. So stay tuned for the first game coming up next.